If you're clicking onto this video, then probably you are experiencing something which happened to me a couple of days ago. So, a couple of days ago, I went to turn on my switch, and unfortunately, it wouldn't turn on. I held the power button down for a long time. I tried taking the switch out of the dock, you know, tried turning it on that way. I thought it might have been a problem with my dock. I even changed the um, power sockets, um, I, you know, changed where... I plugged my switch into and no, nothing was working at all. My switch was not turning on. I thought, that's it. My switch died after a couple of weeks. I thought, oh my God, that is the last time I'm ever picking up a system on launch day. I thought, great, I'm going to have to send in my switch to Nintendo for them to repair it right before the Splatoon 2 global test file. I thought, great, that's going to cost me an arm and a leg in terms of shipping. You know, I thought, great, that's me done with the Switch after a couple of weeks. I'm not going to have my Switch for a while. The repairs would probably cost me a bit as well. So, yeah, I was really, really concerned. But then I started looking online for some solutions. And pretty much Nintendo's official website was the flipping MVP and I'm just pretty much passing on that information on to you guys as well. So if you're panicking right now, if your switch isn't turning on, then I may have a potential fix for you. Now, first thing that you need to do is take your switch out of the dock because for some reason, this doesn't work when your switch is docked. So take your switch out of your dock carefully if you haven't got a screen protector on it just because there are reports that the um, dock does scratch the switch screen. So take your switch out of the dock carefully and hold the power button down for between 12 to 30 seconds. I held it down for 30 seconds and pretty much what you need to do then is press the power button on again and hopefully you should see a Nintendo logo pop up on screen. And if you are seeing that, then your switch is saved and basically what has happened is that your switch has frozen for some stupid reason um, so yeah that is why your switch is not turning on is because it has frozen I'm not sure why it could freeze when you know it is turned off but yeah that is what has happened to me now if that doesn't work then unfortunately you probably will have to send your switch to Nintendo for them to repair it. I'm just hoping that this does potentially fix your problem and if it does then make sure you are hitting that thumbs up button because yeah I was flipping panicking when my switch wasn't turning on I thought that's it and my switch died after a couple of weeks. Um, so hopefully this video has helped you out if it hasn't then I really must apologize for that it seems like your switch has a deeper problem than it just freezing. I'm sure, well, I'm hoping that Nintendo's official website has has some more solutions for you to try before you do send your switch on to Nintendo themselves for them to repair it. But, yeah, it's just, I was a little bit concerned the other day. I know this has happened to a few other people as well. You know, people thinking that the switch has died. But it's not, it's the switch actually freezing. Um, you know, your switch has froze. So this will hopefully sort your problem out. If it has sorted your problem out, then make sure you are sharing this video out to fellow switch owners that are experiencing this same problem. And also don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well, which will help to share this video out to as many people as possible and this video is just there to help as many people out as possible and hopefully it will save you a little bit of stress as well so that is it for this video and i will see you in the next one goodbye